Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Never impressive. But never duplicate. Duplicate. duplicate.
So there's got to be a better way of stripping a top on the guitar. Using the palm sander, and I'm using 50 grit sandpaper pads, which is pretty damn coarse. And it's cutting through the top surface, which as you can see here, there's an actual veneer on the top of these. And the sealer is kind of a pain in the ass to get through. And then once I get through the sealer, I start getting into the veneer and then the mahogany of the body. Now the mahogany of the body is really hard wood and the 50 grit sandpaper really doesn't cut it very well at all. I mean, it takes a long time to, you know, if you're trying to get something to a point where um, you're sanding it and it's just not even creating a lot of dust, it's not cutting it at all. Well, there's got to be a better way of doing this. Now, the problem with this here is if I go with a different tool, uh, I have to complete the sanding on this side with the 50 grit sandpaper because right now, if you rub your hand across here, there is a slight hump right here and right here. Reason being is because the veneer is kind of thick and I got to get this all even. So if I use a different tool for doing this and I go ahead and say like a planer, and I go ahead and I start to sand this down and I'm talking about an electric palm planer, you know, a hand planer. Uh, I cannot find a planer that will accommodate the width of this body without splitting this in half and I'm not about to cut this body in half in order to get it into a planer to get the top to where I want it. So it's Next Christmas best thing. So what I ended up doing last night is I went out and I purchased a Bosch electric hand planer and uh, yeah this is gonna help me out a little bit with this brand new uh, yeah Bosch and right, I'm gonna cut this wire tie and I'll have to complete the sanding with the 50 grit in order to remove the remainder of veneer and get the top of it basically where I need it to be uh, just as a mahogany top that's it and then I will use the veneer or use the wash because I do have to do something here with this which is not going to be fun because it's going to be some hard ass wood that mahogany um, I'm going to have to clamp down the body and I'm going to have to use the planer and kind of go over the top of it. I need to knock it down about a sixteenth of an inch off the top of this body in order to make this work out the way I need it to work out for the new veneer and the finish on. So I picked up this nice little planer here and it should have all the blades. I'm going to have to check to see if all the blades are tight. This is belt driven and uh, yeah, so this is going to help me out a lot. Got a little bit of a smooge over here. Now is there plastic on here? It feels like there might be plastic on here. I can't tell. So what I'm going to end up doing is right now this is at zero and I'm going to have to set this thing up to where it's barely going to be skimming off the top of this and I'm going to have to go probably go over it a few times in order to get the top of where I want it to be. So this is kind of nice. I can connect it to my vacuum or I can just have it set up to where it is uh, going into a bag, which I will end up using this probably with my vacuum. And let's see what this thing comes with. So it comes with some brackets, some braces, a side rail. Um, and what is this? I'll have to see what this is. It probably has to do with going on. Yeah, it goes on the side rail over here. It's a different different piece of plastic that goes over here and of course you got your vacuum bag which is not bad at all and let's see if you just had this in here like this somehow I'll put it like this and then your instruction manual so that's what I'm going to use once I get the body stripped down and get that veneer gone wash so right here are the parts that I end up ordering for this build. Now, I'm gonna go through this one by one. Uh, I'm not too sure what packages are what here. So 
So let's go ahead and pull this out and see what this is. Ooh, these are some big ass caps. So I got some orange drops. I had to pick up some more of those. This here, you can probably tell by the shape of the box what this is. So I'm not going to go with Seymour Duncan or anything else. I ended up picking up a set of, these are the Dragon Fires, and I kind of like these guys. These pickups aren't bad, um, especially if you're going to use for high gain stuff. Now these ones here are a lot different than what I normally been buying. They kind of look like an active, active set, but they are not active. They are actually passive. And in order to tell you exactly what these are, um, these are solid cover screamer set, hot wound ceramic uh, bridge and neck humbuckers, and I got them in black to go with the body of this guitar of how I'm going to do with the scheme. So let's go ahead and unroll one of these. I'm going to end up rolling it back up. So, and they come with all the hardware you need to. You know, set, get these guys mounted and everything else, exception of a pickup ring, which you can order those separately. And they got a plastic cover on them, so they are a black metal, no pulp pieces on these. Four wires, so I can what do any type of a mod to it I want as far as my wiring goes, which I am going to do with this. Once I kind of figure out what I'm going to do with the wiring, because I ended up capping off plugging up all the holes on the body, including the bridge, because I have a different way of doing that. So let's see what this is. All right. Put that off to the side there. They tape this? Yeah, they do. Smart guy, smart. All right, so here I've got some all parks push and pull pots. These are 500 Ks, like the 500 Ks. Here is a Goto bridge and tailpiece. So I'll be replacing the tailpiece with this. This will be a wraparound bridge. And then I have a set of Goto locking tuners for this thing. And thanks to guitarhay.com for sending me these things really quick and yeah so that's the parts that will be going on this guitar I'm not going to be using any of the hardware or electronics that came with this Epiphone Special 2 now the intention of this is to customize this guitar I picked it up for a hundred bucks off of eBay the seller said it was an open box. I have the original box for it. But I'm going to make this into a custom guitar with uh, all new parts. And it's going to be, um, yeah, a flip. So let's see how this works out. I have a plan of what I'm going to do with the body, but I'm not going to share it with you guys until I get up to that point to where I'm going to start to do my veneering with the body and the headstock. So back to Sandy.